macro photography ideas at home. Five inspirational ideas coming up. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. Let's get right into the business. Now the first one is find some candy. What I have here is this transparent colorful candy that I call the alphabet because it had letters. And I have set up the candy in, in top of this uh, Falconize F7 light, which is actually quite fun light. It's an RGB light, but I have it on 5500 uh, Kelvins as a regular light. I have a 30 millimeter uh, 3.5 lens here, and then I have the uh, Edelkrone tilt head and a focusing rail. You don't need all this, and you don't even need a tripod if you want to do experimenting and, and uh, making the image is a lot faster and easier but for the purpose of this video this is much easier to do and also this this will help you to position the camera so let's take the image and this is what the image looks like what i have here settings in my camera i have uh, iso 200 and f 4.5 stopping it down a bit will make the image a bit better the image quality is a bit better than wide open and then the second thing is that i did have this camera on anti-shock shutter so that it won't be vibra vibrating when i uh, press the shutter and also use the the remote controller or the remote cable rmcb2 to prevent the uh, camera to vibrate and if you don't have one of these you don't need these actually in many cases you can use the self timer with anti-shock mode and that will also uh, reduce the vibration if there is any. Always remember if you have something that is kind of like uh, transparent or you can see through when the light goes it will light it up. It looks a lot better if you have some backlighting on that. And actually for the actual image I turned off the light that I have over here that's lighting my video so it won't affect the image at all. And for the next shot I have regular coffee beans. I'm using the same setup with the 30 millimeter 3.5 macro lens and I've just set these coffee beans on a wooden board which is an old uh, cutting board from our kitchen and well it's got to be a bit old so it's very good for using for this kind of photography. I've cropped it really tight so it's it's not a really macro. It could be actually. I'm not really sure if this is a genuine macro. Close up anyways and and uh, I have a small light the Falcon F7 here. The same one that I've used with the candy. With the candy it was you know the candies were top of this light but now it's lighting from the side. And here you can see how the light affects. And let's see if I move the light gets brighter but it's a lot duller when it's come comes from the uh, so from so from the same side as the camera is but if we start moving it like this it's more interesting as you can see how the the shadows goes and how the how the light affects the the shape and the the feel of the image but i really i personally like it like this it has some dark areas and then if they are too dark you can kind of like move these a bit if you want. This is the way I like, maybe I'll move that a bit. Let's grab the image. Then I have a delay with the anti-shock uh, shutter. So it's like a self-timer, but it's a, it's a delay in the anti-shock shutter mode. And this is how the image came out. And now I have some salt, very grainy salt on, on top of the Falcon F7 light. And I have it turned the light to be a bit, uh, uh, what do you call, purple light. And I used focus stacking on this one because it needs some uh, more depth of field than only with, with one image. And I have this time, I have the 60mm f2.8 lens. This is how the image came out. Now I have a regular household fork. You have tons and tons of stuff at your home that you can photograph. You can photograph your memorophilia coins and everything. And I decided to take a fork for this one. And um, when I put it on this stool, I just realized that there is a really nice shadow. And uh, I think I will utilize that and take that also into the photograph to have the shadow there. For this one, I have the EM10 Mark II and the kit lens and no extra gear for, for macro, just using the kit lens. And I don't need the the extra light now but let's turn this on okay now we have it on and then we'll place the camera and we can go pretty close as you see 
and let's grab the image. Okay, now I'm in the kitchen here and what I'm going to do is to play around with some liquids because liquids are really great for macro. I have two Falcon F7 lights. The other one is more blue colored, the other one is red colored and then I have some shiny background and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some bubbly water to the glass and see how the images come out. As you can see from the image, the long exposure will make the uh, bubbles like straight lines because they're moving so fast. If you want to freeze the action in the glass, the bubbles, you need to use a flash. And it looks very interesting when you have the bubbles stuck in the side of the glass and then you have some bubbles moving on the back. Let's see how it comes out with the longer shutter speed. And I've turned all the other lights in the kitchen off. so. The only light is there's some natural light coming from the window and then I have these two colored lights on the side. And this is how the image came out. And before the conclusion, let's look at some images. Well, now the conclusion, and I would say that um, macro photography is not really easy. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And there are lots and lots of uh, good subjects finding at home. You can find them at home or you can find them at your garden. You can find them everywhere. And um, it's all about uh, creativity and your imagination, what you can find and what you can photograph when you're doing macro. And uh, macro can be done, as you see in my previous macro video, it can be done with the existing gear that you have, but like everything in photography, you can buy all kinds of stuff. But remember that uh, macro photography is all about doing it yourself. You, you will, you know, uh, build different kinds of rigs. You could build different kinds of things. You will put books, getting the um, subject to be on the right height. You might do all kinds of different things and you will be fiddling around with water and everything and and it's it's a lot of fun and as i said it's all about creativity but hey thanks for watching and bye for now